welcome my dear students today we are going to study our next story the oval portrait this is the second story in our literature part last time we have already read the first story the selfish giant now let's start the second story the oval portrait the story oval portrait is written by the American writer Edgar Allan Poe. He was born on 19th January 1809 in Massachusetts, USA. He was a popular poet, writer, editor, and literary critic. But he is popularly known for his poems and short stories. Today, we are going to read his story, The Oval Portrait. This story, Oval Portrait is Gothic horror story. Here, Gothic means very fearful, where we can see, we can find the elements of horror and fear. This story was first published in Grams magazine in April 1842. This is the shortest, shortest story of Edgar Allan Poe. This story basically deals about the power of love and art, which also expresses the relationship between art and life. It shows the destructive power of love in human life sometime love also can have very destructive power upon the human life let's start this story now this is the introduction of the writer and the story in the beginning of the story we find the narrator and his valet valet means male servant valet means male servant the narrator of the story is unknown, unnamed, sorry. The narrator of the story is unnamed. He is with his valet or male servant. The narrator and his servant are found in an abandoned statue in the Apennines mountain of central, central Italy. The narrator and his servant, Pedro, they are found in an abandoned statue in the Apennines mountain of central Italy. The narrator of the story was not in a good condition. He was badly wounded, and his valet Pedro did not like to keep him in the open air overnight. It was the evening time. So, Pedro liked to keep him somewhere inside. He didn't like to keep the narrator or his master in the open air. Then both of them, both of them means the narrator and his valet Pedro, reached in an abandoned statue. Statue means the big palace. Pedro took his master inside the statue without permission. They entered inside the statue forcefully without any permission. They entered into a small apartment of the statue to spend overnight there. They found that the statue was recently abandoned by the people. It was decorated with the valuable ancient goods. They found the apartment very rich, but the decorations were decaying. It means they were getting destroyed. In the room, there were tape stripes, trophies, and paintings that made the room very beautiful. The narrator was impressed by the beautiful painting, paintings on the wall. He asked Pedro to close the heavy shutters of the room. 
Pedro closed the shutters and light the candelabrum. Candelabrum means the candle stand. We can say the stand for the candle. Candle Harubalni stand. Candelabrum was right by the bedroom. Then the room was lighted. And the narrator found a book under the pillow of the bed. The narrator kept on reading the books till the midnight. The book was about the art of painting. Pedro had gone to sleep. He slept, but the narrator kept on reading till the midnight. It was almost midnight. The narrator was disturbed by the candle bulb. So he changed the location of the candle bulb. When he shifted it without disturbing the valet, then the light of the candle bulb fell upon the painting in a corner that was a, that was in a shadow previously. The painting was near the narrator or near the bed of the narrator in one of the corner, but narrator did not see it earlier. When she shifted the candle of bomb, then the light fell upon the painting. This painting was in a oval shape. When the narrator Narrator's eyes fell upon the painting. He was very surprised to see. The narrator could not believe upon his eyes. He thought either it was painting or the real lady standing there. He was confused. It was an oval portrait, oval painting oval shaped painting of a young girl who was just ripening into womanhood. The narrator found the painting vivid and it was like a real lady. He closed his eyes to confirm that either it was painting or the real lady. As he opened his eyes, he found it was very immortal painting of a beautiful girl. The head and shoulders of the painting in the oval portrait was very attractive. It startled the narrator as they were lifelike, similar like the living one. Which part? The head and the soldier of the painting was lifelike. The narrator looked at the painting intently because she was attracted towards the artistic work of the painting and the beauty of the young lady. The two things attract the narrator towards the painting. First, attraction was due to the artistic work of painting and second, the narrator was attracted by the beauty of the young lady. The narrator again opened the book which he had found under the pillow. This book was also about the painting. The narrator started searching the oval portrait in the book. When he found the oval portrait in the book is started reading about the history of the same oval portrait which he had seen on the wall. According to the history written in the book, the beautiful lady in the oval portrait was the wife of a passionate painter. The painter loved his art more than anything in this world. 
one day the painter wanted to paint the picture of his beautiful wife and he asked her to sit on the chair in front of him in a good pose she agreed to her husband's proposal and sat on the chair in a smiling pose then the narrator sorry then the painter started painting the picture of her of his beautiful wife the wife became ready to accept the proposal of her husband because she loved him a lot she did not like to hurt her husband the painter took long time to paint the picture of his wife he spent many hours many days and even many weeks to paint the beautiful picture of his wife the wife kept on sitting in the same pose with the beautiful smile the wife tolerated the difficulties thirst and hunger for the happiness of her husband because she used to love her husband a lot and the painter used to love his painting more than other thing in this world he used to love the painting so that he keep, kept on painting the beautiful picture of his wife for many days the wife sat on the same position for many weeks because she used to love her husband a lot here we can find the destructive nature of love and the art art and love both have some destructive nature if the painter was not so passionate towards his painting he would not be able to paint the picture of his wife for many days so that the wife so the, that the wife could get chance to change the posture and it's something and the, if the wife was also not loving her husband so much she would not be sitting in the same position for a long time here we can find the destructive nature of art and love okay let's continue the painter did not realize that his wife grew paler after many days due to hunger and thirst or sitting in the same position without food and water for long term the painter did not realize anything he just keep on painting the picture the visitors were not allowed to enter in the statue so that the painter could pay attention in his painting the main door of the statue was locked by the painter himself so no any visitors disturbed the painter for his painting when the painter finished painting the picture of his wife which looked life like he showed the picture towards his wife shouting in a loud voice that this is indeed life itself the painter shouted in a loud voice yes i did the painting this painting is looking like the real life he shouted then he turned the painting towards his wife at that time he found that his wife was already dead in the same pose sitting on the chair 
this is how the story ends. See? That we can find the destructive nature of love and art in this story. अब कथालाई नेपाली में पनी सुन्नुस। यो कथा अंडाकार चित्र, अर्थात The Oval Portrait, अमेरिकन राइटर एडगर एलान पूले लेखनु भाई को, एडगर एलान पो लेखक, कवि तथा समालोच चक्को रूप में, समालोच चक्को रूप में प्रख्यात उन्नत हैं, रो एडगर एलान पो बेसिकली वहाँ को छोटा कथारु रो कविता हरु को लागी देरे प्रख्यात होने चाहिए। वहाँ ले लेखन भाई का सभी कथा मध्य यो द ओवल पोट्रेट अर्थात अंडाकार वित्त चित्र यो चाहिए अंडाकार चित्र भनु यो चाहिए सब बंदा छोटो कथा हो जून 1842 अप्रैल में ग्राम्स मैगज़ीन में प्रकाश हुआ है कुछ यो कथा में कथाकार ले माया रो कला को बीच में संबंध माया र कला को शक्ति देखा उन्होंने कुछ नुवाई को था र जीवन र कला बीच संबंध पनी देखा उन्होंने कुछ कथा को शुरुआत में हमी यो कथा को नेयरेटर अर्थात कथा बातचक र उसको पुरुष नोकर जस्ट लाइक भैलेट वन्ने कर शुमामी सेंट्रल इटाली मध्य इटाली को अपेनाइंस माउंटेन अर्थात अपेनाइंस पहाड़ में हमी उन्हें हलाइ पाऊं सों जब नेरेटर र उसको नो करते हैं उनसन अपेनाइंस माउंटेन में नेरेटर को अवस्था तेरी राम रूप दे ना कथा बात सक नेरेटर बनना ले उसको अवस्था तेरी राम रूप दे ना वो नराम रूप से घायल थे भाई को हुन्सा सांस को समय छा जस को कारण देकर दा पेड्रो जन नो कर छा उसने आपने मालिक लाई ओपन हवा मा खुला हवा मा रात बिताऊं ना कुलागी चाहा दे ना कते भीतर रखना पाए हुन क्यों बनने उसको इच्छा हो जा रा उन्हीं हरु हिन्ने क्रम मा दुबई जाना ये उटा त्यागी को ठुलो माहौल को आगारी पुक्षन जस्मा मानी सुले त्यागी सके क्या चन कोई पनी बसे का चन उन्हीं हरु त्यो माहौल भीतर र प्रवेश करी सके पची माहौल को ये उटा सानु कोठा भीतर उन्हें रू प्रवेश कर सन रात बिताओ न कोला त्यो कोठा एकदम ही रामरो संग डेकोरेट करी कुछ हो तारा पुराना चीज हरू ले डेकोरेट करी कुछ हो तारा देरे पहले डेकोरेट करी को नाले डेकोरेशन का सामान रू बिगड़ना अर्थात कोई न लगी सके क्या हो जाए र कोठा म पुरस्कार जितिए का ट्रॉफी जरूर रा पेंटिंग जरूर पाइंसन नेरेटर कुठामा पोस्टा साथ उसको आँखा पेंटिंग हरुमा पोर्सो वाल मा भाई को चित्र हरुमा पोर्सो दीवार का चित्र हरुमा तेजले नेरेटर लाइक दमे इम्प्रेस करसो तेजले आकर्षित करसो नेरेटर ले भीतर पोस्टा सिप वछी पेड्रो लाई छुला सेटर हरू बंद करने लगाऊं था, पेड्रोलिस सेटर हरू बंद कर था, बंद कर इसे के पची अध्यारों उन्हें था, अध्यारों में पेड्रोले कैंडला ब्राम, अर्थात मेन बत्ती रखने स्टैंड जो उन्हें था, जस्ट वह मेन बत्ती रूप आ क्या कुछ था, तेज़ लाइफ बाल दें था, कैंडला ब्राम बाली से के पची रूमी � र बेड को शिरानी वित्त के समय उसले पेंटिंग और वहीं सके पची बेड को शिरानी मुनि उटा किताब पाऊं सा वो किताब पढ़ी रहो मध्य रात समय बस नहीं कौन सा मध्य रात समय किताब पढ़ी रहो दा क्यों किताब पेंटिंग के बारे में उनसा उस लाई कैंडला ब्राम अर्थात मेन बत्ती रखने स्टैंड लेके डिस्टर्ब कर सा र तेती � पेड्रो सुती सही कोचा। पेड्रो लाई डिस्टर्ब नगरी कना कथा बातचकले 
कैंडेला ब्रम को अर्क ठाव में राख राखने बितिक कैंडेला ब्रम को लाइट जो उजालो तो एटा कर्नर में रहे एटा कुना में रहे बेड नजिक कुना में रहे अंडाकार आकृति को चित्र में पड़ नारेटर ने चित्रला देख जिसमें एटा ब्यूटिफुल लेडी योना महिला जो चाह गर्ल बाट उमेन हुड में चेंज करते गए कि अर्थात भर्क गई नवविवाहित युवती को पिक्चर देख जो ओवल सेप में रहे नारेटर लो साक मं हो कि पिक्चर हो भले आंखा उ झुक्याए जस्तु लग् आँखा झिमक्या अर्थात आँखा चिम्म कर फेरी खोज जब उसके आँखा खोल उस ग्यारेटी हो चाह ओवल सेप में कर पेंटिंग रहे कैनवास पेंटिंग हो रहा एकदम आकर्षक पेंटिंग विशेषगरी ब्यूटिफुल लेडी को टाउ को रोल्जर्स काट में कर जो पेंटिंग छो एकदम भिविड अर्थात जीवंत लग् उस नारेटर लाई उस पेंटिंग दे एकदम आकर्षित कर अब नारेटर के लगे वाले ये पेंटिंग को इतिहास पत्ता लगन पर्यटन उसके आपको किताब में ओवल पोर्ट्रेट अर्थात अंडाकार चित्र को बारे में खोज जब उसे किताब में अंडाकार चित्र देख् ते पच्चीस इसको इतिहास पढ़ना था रिताब पढ़ते जाना कथावाचक ने यह चित्र को इतिहास पत्ता लगा रो चित्र में देखाइए कि एकदम सुंदर महिला ब्यूटिफुल गर्ल चाहिए एटा एकदम भावुक पेंटर अर्थात कलाकार की श्रीमती रहे कलाकार आपको कला प्र कला एकदम मया गथ रोसले एक दिन आपको श्रीमती भर्खर विवाह करी की श्रीमती को पिक्चर चाह बनाने निर्णय कर श्रीमती भिमी कुर्सी में बस एकदम स्माइलिंग पोज दिए मिम्रो पिक्चर पेंट कर आपू पिक्चर पेंट कर कलाकार ने अर्थात ये आर्टिस्ट ने पेंट करने क्रम में धेरे समय लगा उसके दिन बीते था पाऊं घंटों बीते दिन बीते रेरे हफ्ता बीतन उसके पेंटिंग कर सकते रईफ लगने हजबेन्ड ने ये राम पेंटिंग करते उसको कलाप्रति को मोह छ म हजबेन्ड लिस्टर्ब करना चाहन्न म कष्ट सहर पर एवटे पोज में बसि रहूर उ खाना पीना बिना पानी न खाई खाना न खाई कुर्सी में सेम पोजिशन में बसि कें भा उ हजबेन्ड लम मया मया हजबेन्ड लट कर चाहन्न हजबेन्ड को पेंटिंग को पैस पैसनेट पूरा कर दी पैसन जो पेंटिंग को हजबेन्ड को पूरा कर दिन चाहिए धेरे दिन बस्ता उ एकदम पहेली हो कमजोर हो यो कुरा पेंटर ने याद कर पेंटर ने आपने घर भि आप दरबार भि कोई न पसुन् भन्न को लगी दरबार को बाहर गेटम तालचा लगाई देखा जिससे ऊ कंसट्रेट भर एकत्रित भर पेंटिंग में ध्यान दिन सकते बाहर बट कोई मानस आएन पेंटर आप श्रीमती तर्फ ध्यान दिन पाएन रीमती पहेल हो बिस्तार उनको बस को कुर्सी में एकदम गाड़ो अवस्था में पुगिन रो डेथ भो ये कुछ पेंटर ठा भेन रेम पोज में उनको डेथ भैस पेंटर ये कुछ ठा भेन जब पेंटर ने आपको पेंटिंग सका ब्यूटिफुल पेंटिंग बनाई सका रेंटर लाउड भोइस में ठूल आवाज ने चिच्छा मैं जीवंत पिक्चर बनाए हे रही पिक्चर लो श्रीमती तीर देखा जब पिक्चर लो श्रीमती जीवंत पिक्चर बनो श्रीमती तीर देखा बल्ल उसके था पाँच श्रीमती को डेथ भैस इसी कथा सकता रो कथा में हमी प्रति कुछ कुरा प्रति अत्यधिक लगाव भो अति भो नाम रिजल्ट दिशा क्या देखा पेंटर को पैसन थी आर्ट प्रति 
ऊ एकदम पैसिनेट भर पेंटिंग करना अरु सब कुछ बिर्स इसको मतलब आप आर्ट लम मया रामस आर्ट करना चाहते जिससे उसके श्रीमती बिर्स श्रीमती को मृत्यु होना पे उ श्रीमती आपने हजबेन्ड लत्यधिक मया कर रया करने एकदम मया करने हजबेन्ड को चित्त दुखा चाहेन जिससे दुख कष्ट सहर पर कुर्सी में बसि बस्ता बस्ते उनको मृत्यु रो कथा हमी जीवन रला बीच को संबंध देखा खोले देर इज गुड रिनेसनशिप बिट्विन आर्ट एंड लाइफ जीवन रला बीच को राम संबंध छ तर कहीं ये संबंध ने नाम परिणाम लिया सकता सन्देश कथा बोक भाई बहन मेरा प्यारा विद्यार्थी तैं कथा बुझ्भ रब यह कथा ध्यान दिन रामस बुझ्न रक्षा एगार का अन्न्य अन्न्य चैप्टर को बारे में पढ़ना को लगी रुझन को लगी यू चैनल लाई सब्सक्राइब कर लाइक कर रेल बटन दबाए अल अप्सन में राख नबिर्स होदा होना चाहूँ थैंक यू एवरीवन